Grace and peace, everybody. Welcome to Sabbath School Study Group. My name is Chris Bailey, and I'm really glad that you're making us a part of your day. We appreciate you. In fact, if you want to stay in touch with us, please subscribe to our channel. More importantly, even go to our website. And while you're there, you can subscribe, you can like, and you can even use that as a tool to share with other people, to tell them the good news that we're learning in our studies together. Because in this series, we're going to be talking about living the Advent hope. Yes, we have a hope. And today we're going to talk about a certain kind of hope. What that all means as we deal with the power of hope in this whole series. We want to pray that Father, in the name of Jesus, you would speak to our hearts. Amen. Adventism or the idea of believing in the advent of God, that Jesus is coming back again. That's good news. And we have a certain kind of hope as Advent believers because Advent hope is a brand name hope and not generic. You know, brand name versus generic, something that's just kind of run of the mill. But brand name is a certain title or topic. There's an expectation of quality when you have that brand name. And when the Bible talks about hope, it's not just generic because we live in a world where people put their hope in a lot of different things. A lot of people put their hope in other people and they put their hopes in what they think that those people can do for them. But even more people, I think probably most people, they're putting their hopes in money. What can they get? with the money that they have. And so because of that, they drive for it, they fight for it, they even die for it. But I'm glad that as Advent believers, we have a brand name hope. And the Bible talks about this hope always in relationship to the hope giver, to the hope himself, Jesus Christ. What are we talking about? Look in the Bible in Matthew 24, for example, when Jesus was speaking of his coming, he says, and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So this is not a vain hope. It's not just a looking up into the sky, but we're looking for someone in the sky. The realization of our hope, that's the brand name. That's a hope in the coming of Jesus Christ. Matthew 24, 36, a few verses down, it says, but of that day and that hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Now remember, this is Christ speaking here while he was walking on earth. And he was speaking here in relationship to the father before he had been glorified or had been offered as the sacrifice sitting at the right hand of God. They know when they're gonna be coming back. But to us, that mystery has not been revealed. And so because of that, we're called then to not look so much to the knowing of the date, but to the one who's coming. So it's not just about knowing when the birthday is going to be or knowing when the anniversary is going to be, but the celebration is of the person themselves. And that's why our hope is different. It's not just an event, but it's an experience. It's a relationship that leads us to look forward to another level in the fulfillment of that relationship. Because Matthew 25, 31 says, when the son of man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, Then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Again, all these pronouns referring to who? Jesus, not the event. And so as a Seventh-day Adventist Christian, I know that a lot of times we can find too much emphasis on the prophetic events, on knowing the dates. But think about it. When you think about your family, you think about someone that you love. When you think about that birthday and the anticipation of it, are you anticipating the day? Or are you anticipating what's going to happen on the day? And even more so, who the day is for. That's where we want to be as Advent believers. Because that will be what drives what we preach. It will drive what we emphasize. And more importantly, it will undergird and establish our hope. Our hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. But those things don't mean anything if we don't know Jesus. Because if I don't know him, How can I look forward to seeing him? It should be the exact opposite. Because of who we know he is, because of what we know that he has done, we have so much excitement and a real hope that we're going to see that one who loves us real soon. I want to encourage us, stick with us. This is just part one. We're giving a label to our hope now. And the rest of the series, we're going to open the bottle to see what's inside of Advent hope. What's inside of the expectation of Jesus Christ coming again? Because it's built on my joy from what has happened in my life when he came to me from the very first time. 
Hey, if you enjoyed today's lesson in prophecy, be sure to visit our website, changeministry.org slash the highway home. Here you're going to find two visual studies that guide you through every prophetic event from now until the coming of Christ. And you'll even find a step-by-step -step study that goes deeper into the word of God so that you can find both the peace and the power that comes from the promise of Jesus' return.